everyone, welcome back to Birdcraft, and today on my channel I'm going to be making this cute 4th of July fireworks squishy. I hope you guys enjoy the video because I enjoyed making it. So let's go on to the materials. For this you're going to need two different size hair rollers. I got mine at the dollar store. As you can see one is slightly larger than the other. A pair of scissors, red, white, blue, black, light pink, orange, and yellow puffy paint, an eye pin screw, a lobster clasp lanyard, this is only if you want to make a keychain like I did, a doll rod, you'll only need a little bit, this is just a bit left from a project I did a while ago, popsicle sticks, an emery board, glue, and a small black piece of gimp. Take the smaller of the hair rollers and cut off an inch. Then start trimming down the sides so that the smaller of the hair rollers is about a fourth inch smaller than the larger one. Cut an inch off of the larger hair roller and trim down one end to a point. After I finished making those, I measured them together. And I felt that the bottom part was a little too long, so I cut a bit off the bottom. Then go ahead and paint both pieces. I'm painting the bottom part of mine white. I find that using a popsicle stick helps it to spread easier. You're going to want to cover this in three layers to make it very opaque. And don't forget to paint either the top or bottom part as well. For the rocket part of the firework, I'm painting it in blue puffy paint. I stuck the doll rod in it to make it easier to hold and easier for me to set it up so it'll dry. Don't forget to fill the hole in the top of the hair roller. Once it's dry, you can begin adding designs to it. For my cylinder shape, I added three stripes, one to the top, one to the bottom, and one to the middle. After I was finished that, I didn't like the way the bottom looked, so I also painted the bottom part, which is white here, in red puffy paint. I added mine to the doll rod to make it easier to hold too. And for the top part, I just painted on a couple of white polka dots. I wanted to do stars, but I was having a hard time making stars, and I think it turned out cute anyway. And then you can attach the two pieces together by adding some puffy paint to the unpainted side. And just squish them together like so and let them dry. Once that's dry, go ahead and cut your doll rod down to size. And because the end is a bit rough after I cut it, I just used an emery board and made it nice and smooth. And to attach that to the squishy, all you have to do is add a little bit of glue and shove the doll rod in the hole that was already in the hair roller. To make sure that it is super in there, just add a little bit more puffy paint around the doll rod and the bottom of the squishy. And while that's wet, add your piece of gimp and let it dry. Once that's dry, go ahead and cut it down to the size you like it, and you can begin putting your face on your firework. I use black for the eyes and the mouth. 
Light pink for the cheeks. And white to give his eyes a sparkle. And if you like to, on the end of your piece of gimp, you can add some orange puffy paint to the tip of it. A little bit more puffy paint in the color red. And some yellow to make it look like it's lit on fire. To add the eye pin, if you wish to make it a keychain, just add a little bit of glue to the end of the screw and then screw it into the top part of your squishy and add a little bit of puffy paint to make it more attached. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I am probably squishing this squishy completely wrong because you guys tell me in every single video I do. I do not know the correct way to put to squish the squishy so if you guys want to leave a like video link or something on my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. It's all in the description. Let me know how I should squish the squishy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new to my channel for some more geeky and cute tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy 4th of July.